Hello. Today I want to talk about owning a savvy for 12 years and ongoing. My odometer is 140 something. 140 something thousand. 147 zero 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 km. What is the common problem of this? Of this car. Common problem is the crankshaft sensor is also called as stop dead center TDC sensor. The sensor tip is small compared to Mitsubishi, like the one in Vira, Satria, Waja. The sensor tip is small for the TDC or crankshaft sensor. And the TDC sensor is a, is also a magnet. It's a magnet to read the the fly view. Okay. So the magnet, the sensor is easily suck up the the metal metal powder of the or the dirt of the fly view okay so the car is very hard to start how to how to treat the issue how to cure it you have to take out the sensor okay then you clean the tip that's it you need to clean the tip whenever it's hard to start okay because it's filled, the, the sensor tip is filled with the, the metal rusty powder or anything the magnet suck up. Okay. So, second problem is the power steering switch sensor. The, the sensor and electronically, electrically, there's no issue. The issue is the sensor itself leak. Okay, it leak the power steering oil. So to solve it, you change the power steering switch sensor. The third is the speedometer sensor. What is the symptom? Symptom is the kilometer per hour reading will not go up or oh, intermittent it will go up and then all the way down to zero when you drive then the odometer will not be will not count meaning you you whenever you drive few kilometer where, wherever you go the odometer will not increase the okay then The plug cable, the ignition coil and plug cable. Oh. When it's faulty, you will run, your car will sound like a lorry or Subaru. Okay, it's very loud. And you're running on three cylinder only, three piston only. To solve it, oh, you change it. You change the whole set of ignition coil and also the cable. Normally, it comes together. Sometimes it's so separately also. Mm. It's running on timing belt. This car runs on timing belt. So you have to change. You can buy the belt at 60,000 or 100,000 kilometer belt. Uh, what is the other problem? The engine why after the car my car went to 12 years old or 13 years old okay the the engine oil leak so there's another sensor it's called engine oil pressure switch or engine oil pressure switch sensor so you have to change you have to change this sensor 
then your engine eye will not leak. And also, this is for engine oil. Another is for the gearbox. The gearbox oil pressure switch is actually called as reverse sensor switch sensor. You don't have any problem with the reverse sensors reading, okay? The problem is it leaks the the reverse sensor leaks the power, the transmission oil, the gearbox oil. Okay, mine is manual. I believe it's the same for the AMT version. So it leaks out the the gear gearbox oil. A lot of people don't know. Even the manual manual transmission version of Savvy, a, a lot of owner they never realized it got leaked. So they are they they running they drive the car with the dry gearbox you know because it leaked all all already leaked all oil already so what happened is their gearbox running dry and become damaged damaged running oil running dry and damaged so their gearbox gone gone case okay so they, they mostly either the engine oil the the engine oil running dry problem or the gearbox running dry problem so their engine damage gone case or their gearbox gone case so they decided to scrap the whole car and sell it by parts so even even if you drive manual also it it, it happens your engine spoil your gearbox spy because they never realized got this sensor switch okay a lot of this savvy is using d4f reno engine so the uh, i want to say is the european they made the sensor a lot of sensor they they are p more prone to spoil is a more problematic compared to japanese sensors the car is very good fuel efficient it has a good acceleration okay considering it's 1149 cc it's in between 1.1 and 1.2 liter engine it's very fuel efficient i never realized until i drive the proton saga vvt cam pro engine <laughs> uh, so I love the car in Malaysia you you had to not not all the mechanic willing to do the proton savvy not all willing to take the savvy case okay so not right now the spare part also hard to get I had to buy the dry shaft from Johor in Lazada. Okay. There were once the, the the door handle has no supply already. Okay. No supply until we had to get it for 80 ringgit at the scraps or chop shop, you know. So it's very hard to get was bought one at new at the uh, about 25 or 30 ringgit only right now then afterwards oh the supply the supply continue the product production continue because a lot of demand so we we right now we luckily i never buy the i never buy the door handle at 80 ringgit at the chop shop <laughs> Right now it's uh, about thirty something to fit to forty something uh, about about that price uh, right now for the door handle <laughs> outer door handle I mean so I still love the car for three thousand ringgit below five thousand ringgit uh, it's it's not worth to sell uh, because it's not worth to sell it's a vehicle after all. Okay, I use the car as spare right now. 
I changed the Jasma. I was used R three muffler, but corroded. I changed to just Jasma N one. It's a, I think it's a Taiwan or Taiwan imitation unit. So the the car and the Vigo center bullet replace the catalytic converter. The car accelerate fast, but the CC is low. So at the highest speed, uh, highest speed it lose to Saga la, Saga VVT one by three. Although my Saga is CVT auto, but highest speed, Savvy will not win. Top speed wise, Saga climbs faster. That's it. I want to say. The spare part of Savvy, of course, is more expensive and not all mechanic willing to know how to service for Proton Savvy. Okay. That's it, I want to say. I still love my Savvy. If I got the money, I will restore it 100%. Right now, my brake, brake booster got problem, so the Brake response is slow. Now the car, I changed the ignition quite. It's very powerful acceleration right now. But now brake booster got problem. Never replace. Consider the acceleration is fast. Is fast, but the brake is slow right now. Because the brake booster is semi faulty, so. I seldom drive the Savvy, so I I drive the new Saga because it feels safer to drive Saga right now. Okay. See you.